Welcome back to more Pokemon Leaf Green. So last time we did most of everything on Fire Island, except for, well, the Rocket Warehouse, since we still don't know the password. Yeah, we went to Memorial Pillar, Water Labyrinth, Resort Gorgeous, and the Lost Cave. I even figured out how the Lost Cave works more too. Anyway, from being the Lost Cave, we rescued Sylvia here, and she's bored, so... Oh, she wants to use Zapdos now. So she, like, changes very often. Yeah, before she wanted a Sneasel, so... Uh, yeah. I guess I could try Zapdos again. Uh, she keeps changing, I'm not going to, you know. Haha. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep doing this, so yeah. I'll meet you guys when I have the Zapdos done. But yeah, it's not just Jota Pokemon, apparently. It's mostly rare Pokemon, I've noticed. Oh, there we go. Oh my gracious, that must have Zapdos he caught for me. Yeah, I see a resemblance to you. Thank you so kindly. Is something the matter? You may leave. Oh, fine, I understand now. Sebastian, I need you here to assist me. <laughs> the, the bot that just walked dead. Yes, my lady. See it to that this person's given a token of appreciation. I shall do as you bid, my lady. I certainly thank you for pleasing Lady Sylphie. Please accept this as our thanks. You got Stardust, awesome. I wish you the best of luck. So I see him if we go back inside, she wants us to do another task. Shelda. So basically just random Pokemon. But Shelda is actually a Fire Red exclusive, so yeah, we're gonna need to do trading for that. Yeah. <laughs> I find it weird that she wanted a Zapdos, but I guess, uh, she is, like, very posh, so. So I guess it's a good thing that I was told to catch the legendary Pokemon, huh? But anyway, I know she can get some other cool items, but I'm not so sure what those are. But anyway, let's put Zapdos away. Let's get Bruce back. Let's go over here. And then, yeah, any Pokemon catch should go into that box, I hope. <laughs> and I'll put Bruce where the Zapdos was. Alright, so anyway, all that little shenanigan. Let's actually progress and do what we need to do, which is go to 6 on. Oi, duh, where do you want to go? 6 on. Because, yeah, we can't really go anywhere else, so why not? Is this all of my music? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember Johto very well. It's been a long time since I played Hawk on Soul Silver. But this is good music. So anyway, let's go to Pokemon Surf first because there's something interesting now. Zero again! <laughs> hey Rohan, how's your Pokemon filling up? It looks like it's impossible to get all the Pokemon by hanging around just these parts. Maybe that Pokemon we don't know about somewhere far away. Well, if I can't do it, there's no way for you to get it done. I'm not going to get all desperate over this. I'll keep collecting Pokemon at my own pace while I train them. That's what I'll do, so it's no point stinker. So I may as well leave for home. That's that, then smell you earlier. No Pokemon evolve only upon training, yes? But you know there are still others. Some Pokemon evolve only when trade whilst holding specific items. Yeah, we went over that last time. For 10 years, I searched for ruins. No, make that 20 years. I get the saying that there's something hidden on this side. I'm gonna go heal just in case as well. Hmm. <laughs> I believe if you go talk to Zero, if you go here, it might trigger something. I'm not entirely sure, baby. Keep going this way, you get to War Path. Stay on that, and you'll get to Rune Valley. Near this far away from the sea, the sky at night is fantastic. It's in this house. It's nothing that young people find exciting care on this side, but this is a good place in terms of nature's history. Relax and enjoy your stay. Anyway, we have the Stardust, so might as well sell that. And yeah, we're doing good on the money now, thankfully. <laughs> 
Maybe a Pokemon lot to level on life. Take Aqua Pepper, for example, she sets a record for being the oldest ever Elite Four member. She spares me to do bigger things. I wonder if it's actually true or not. I feel like someone in the comments would like to check that for me. I should buy some mail or write him a letter. I guess I can see what the guy sells. Yeah, he actually sells mail. <laughs> but yeah, other just good items. Ultra Balls and stuff like that. I guess I can buy more Ultra Balls just in case. Because, yeah, it seems like yeah, I'm having a lot of fun catching these Jota Pokemon. Anyway, so... Here's the Water Path. And yeah, I guess like a ratio sec. So, we can either go down, and that'll lead to Ruin Valley, or we can go up, and that leads somewhere else. I'm practicing secrets so no one can see me. <laughs> I'm gonna go north for this episode, I think. If we have time, maybe I'll go check out Ruin Valley. We'll see. Here's a Voltorb. So I'm gonna go for a turn. So yeah, this has been a lot of fun actually. Experience these Jota Pokemon over again has been a lot of fun. And also, because I'm not very familiar with this post game 2, I'm getting surprised a lot, so I guess that's also cool. Anyway, I almost take out the Mr. Mime. The return. We'll go for a good nut. So I just keep going for it. <clears throat> Against this Voltorx. Pick it up. Awesome. And his last Pokemon is Electrode. So we should be able to take that out easy. Goes a spark, but that shouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah, and also on the world part, there's no new world Pokemon. It's like the same as Fire Land. Grass that. So, no need to worry about that. <clears throat> what you got paralyzed. Which is gonna make taking this thing out a lot harder. Encore ended. I guess I'll go for Giga Drink and get some health back. And there we go. I'm gonna heal the paralysis, but we have paralysis heals, I think, so that's okay. Nobody saw me losing, right? You super repel, I guess. Because, yeah, I did say there's no new wild poke on this area yet, so... Let's go up now. We got a... Summer. My boyfriend's always busy, so I come swing by myself. What you got? You got a Chinchow! That's more electric type. It's a Pokemon I really want to use one day, actually. Just because, you know, that type is unique and pretty cool as well. You know, yeah, stats aren't that impressive. It's, you use it for the type rather than the stats. Yeah, level 53. And your other Pokemon is Lantern. The Pokemon evolves into. So, let's go into Ken and give it a bone ring. Hey, it's of weakness. <laughs> And yeah, we're going to the spark, which is good. Fortune missed. There's a take down, but that's okay. No water move is fine by me. <laughs> also reminds of that trainer in Vidry Road who had an earthquake lantern, which is illegal. <laughs> that was something that happened. Oh, I knew this would happen. Alright. Oh, I should have switched Pokemon. What? You're suggesting that you're sick of seeing swimmers like me? Oh, don't be hating. 
That was some funny dialogue, not gonna lie. <laughs> You've got Samir, he's got Gyarados. So I guess we're just gonna go Jolteon now. Let's do that. Go to Narukami, he has Twister, which is a weak dragon type move. And we go for Thunderbolt. Yeah, no need to worry about Earthquake because, yeah, I doubt he has it. Oh no, no. Say so I put Bunny in the back now. <clears throat> There we go. I gotta lift the stick while being a swimmer. <laughs> okay. Here we got some twins. Hello, Pokemon. It's time to battle. So we have Mia here. Mia, Mew, and they both have Pikachu's. And an Aura coming. So I go for Rock Side actually, and I'm just gonna fund away from one them because I don't want to touch them. With uh. Bite. I guess I could just go for Thunderbolt then. Let's see what Rock Side does. So agility. And... Another agility. <laughs> yeah, this is why Lightning Rod would be good. The other ability that Ken could have. But there you go, both these so come Mutal Ledge type moves, so yeah. I'm just pointing it out. Because yeah, what would happen is, if they use the Ledger type move, no matter what, uh, it will draw to Ken, and then Ken would be immune to it because Ledge Time. Because, yeah, Ledge Time is immune. You're mean, you're bad for winning. <laughs> no, they get a pretty decent amount. Oh, I'm sorry, my Pokemon. It makes you all sad inside when we lose. Alright, what have we got here? My height is 76 inches on the bun. I know it. I know it is this precisely because my neighbor measured me. Alright, done. Got another trainer here. I let a pleasant breeze lead me all the way here. So I got a Roman lady here. She has a Sunken. Sunken is the weakest Pokemon in terms of stats. Haha. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it out. Alright then, you use double edge on it, but it Luckily, it evolves into a Easter Pokemon, I guess, some Flora. <laughs> yeah, it goes down as well, so. You're so cute when you're determined. Yeah, there's an item there, but we can get that with Sir, so that's good. Elixir! So that's good. We have another house. Warmberry. Over here, wanted the ultimate horn. Oh boy. Hera Hera Heracross. Big and shiny, it's the bug boss. Love it, need it, Heracross. So yeah, well. Uh, it's a, let's assume that they want to see a Heracross, I guess. Over here is the green path, Pambush. Pambush is interesting. Um, as you would expect, um, it's laid out in a pattern. The grass, I mean. So... <clears throat> and yeah, some uh, interesting things um, about that grass. If you look at it from like a big bird's eye view, um, it looks like a... I believe it's supposed to look like some sign kind of cartridge. I bet you think I'm just some guy, don't you, eh? I guess I can look that up while I'm battling this guy. There's some more Pokemon, but we're gonna spend some time catching them. This guy's far-fetched, lol. 
let's go for rock side on it. Bone rush. Not as good as bone rank. It hit, can hit two to five times, I believe. Yeah. Rock side. Hey, you think I'm weak, don't you, eh? <laughs> I up, you townies came all around so Danny would have had that flashy. How about give me that? <laughs> you already have a hat, though. But yeah, uh, it's not confirmed, but I believe this area, it's supposed to look like some kind of um, cartridge. I think people theorize that it's supposed to look like the Gen 1 cartridges in terms of their patterns on them. Which is funny because those games have a lot of glitches and bugs. And actually, you find mostly bug type folk on here. So yeah, kind of a little spoiler, but yeah. Yeah, I couldn't find anything to confirm or deny that, but maybe you people in the comments know. Yeah, let's fight more trainers. There's actually quite a few of them here. I'm curious, do you, how do you raise your Pokemon? This person is Chansey, so we're gonna need a switch. <laughs> Chansey gets a lot of experience, so find this trainer over and over might not be a bad idea. Yeah, not much damage. <laughs> so we'll take it out. Hopefully. And yeah, it doesn't take the brick break. You raise your Pokemon a lot of love. Thank you. In the same way your mother raised you full of love, you should raise your Pokemon. That's actually very sweet. I call a bug Pokemon that lives only around her. Alright, let's see it. Heracross. Yeah, that's definitely a Pokemon I can't wait to talk about. <laughs> let's go with Thunderbolt. So yeah, takes the Thunderbolt, takedown, mm, not great. And we take out the Heracross, awesome. Because yeah. Heracross is being mentioned a lot, but for good reason. Hehe, <laughs> isn't my Pokemon awesome? There's a girl near the bush who measures Heracross for trainers. Yeah, we're gonna maybe do that today, I think. Like I said, I wanna focus on this place because I find it kind of intriguing. But anyway, I found some grass. I find a Kakuna. Level 9. There you go. I love bug Pokemon, that's why I'm here all the time. Am I the only girl like that? <laughs> I know a couple of girls who like bugs. Oh, she doesn't even have a bug type, she has a snubble. <laughs> a normal type. But intimidates, that's a pretty good ability. Keep this in mind too, this is the first Pokemon game I played, and a lot of these Pokemon you're seeing, I saw them for the first time, so I actually didn't know what a lot of the types were. <laughs> I lost, I'm still laughing. Am I gonna go like that? I'm gonna keep on cutting bug poker. Am I gonna go like that? Yeah, your dialogue is a strange lady. Anyway, we got another bug catcher here. There's a lot of people here. <laughs> yeah, 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 look at all the bug poker. <laughs> so yeah, bug catchers have made that comeback, I guess. Anyway, he has a Venonat. And yeah, I'm almost leveling up Narukami, which is cool. And we take out the Venonat, awesome. Next Pokemon is a Venomoth, cool. So yeah, they're seeing a lot of interesting Bug-type Pokemon today. Hey, 
level 53. Got beat while still busy celebrating. <laughs> you got? Ah, uh, more grass. Ah, uh, one knee poke on Letty Puff. Um, let's try Thunder Wave. And also that reminds me that Narukami needs to be out the lead. So I guess let's talk about knee poke on now. So Letty Puff is basically like the... It's the bug of, um, one of the bugs of Gen 2, Chodo. Um, it's a bug flying type. It stays up on the time type when it evolves. And yeah, small early birds abilities. To be honest, both aren't good. You'll see why in a little bit. In terms of level up moves, um one I guess there are some interesting things here. Despite, you know, this Pokemon. <laughs> it's very timid. It'll be afraid to move if it's alone, but it'll be active if it's in a group. Anyway, so I guess it's time to talk about the Pokemon now. I don't know why I held off on talking about them, but yeah. There's three new Pokemon here, I believe. Um, so yeah. Alright, Bruce. Look, look, there are funny pads on the ground. But yeah, the pads could also be like crop circles and stuff like that too. Anyway. Weeping Bell. I think we have a release. But anyway, it lands the screen. Ledian is evolution. So Ladybug's evolves into Ledian at level 18. I didn't mention that. One of the things it can do is learn Reflect and Light Screen Bear level up. It also gets Safeguard. It gets Baton Pass. So it can pass on Agility, which it learns at level 51, to an ally, which isn't terrible. Other moves, there's some interesting ones, but uh, the main thing that's so bad about this Pokemon though is its uh, stats. It is a early game bug, so the stats aren't going to be good, but yeah, they're even worse than you think. Ledian has 55 HP, 35 attack, 50 defense. 55 social attack, 110 social defense, and 85 speed. If that sounds like an unavailable Pokemon, yeah, you'd be right. <laughs> Except for the social defense, I guess. So yeah, the social defense, that's Neonol, but its type is horrible defensively, so uh, it can't make good use of it. I thought you did, not Um... Haha! So yeah, there's something interesting that I can't wait to talk about. Anyway, um... So yeah, basically, it has horrible stats. Unfortunately, it doesn't even, like... And it, the moves it learns are completely counterintuitive. Like, it gets, um, punching moves, but uh, it can't really make good use of them. It does get sword stats, but you're gonna need a lot of sword stances. You're going to actually, you know, kill things with this thing. <laughs> I guess it can also pass on sword stance and agility to people, but yeah. Yeah, it's very hard to find uses for Ledian. It's a joke. And me and my brother treat it as such. Well, I would like to use it in one playthrough just because. I guess Silverwind is an egg move, but yeah, even though that's actually decent stab, uh, good luck with 35 attack. But yeah, you're gonna need to do a. You're gonna need a hope and pray a lot with this Pokemon, I think. So yeah, Ledian, not good. <laughs> However,. Um, you know what, I don't want to talk about Heracross now. I want to end talking about bug types on a more positive note. Because yeah, even though I caught it, there is still another Pokemon. This powerful Pokemon thrusts its prize horn under its enemies' bellies, then lifts them and throws them. And yeah, since we call it Heracross, that means we should probably show that to, um, the girl who wants to see the Heracross one. Anyway, Ladybird is 30% encounter in Leaf Green, but the other Pokemon that is a 5% encounter, so yeah, this one will be a lot rarer. So I assume we're not gonna find one, but I'll still talk about it anyway. And that Pokemon is Spinarak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
So yeah, let's get Spinarax information up. Specifically it's evolution. I'm focusing more on evolution style because yeah. At this point in the game, yeah, if you're using an honorable Pokemon, uh good luck. <laughs> Unless it's a pseudo, I guess. Anyway, here's another Heracross, cross, I'll go catch it. Level 30 this time, so I might actually be able to weaken it. Brick brick. Yeah, there we go. Now I should be able to catch it. Yeah, Heracross also gets Brick Brick, which is pretty cool. And we'll get Bunny. So anyway, let's look at the five percent encounter, one of them. And that is Spinarak, which evolves into Aurodos level 22. So Aurodos looks kind of cool. It gets some interesting moves they level up. Those are Spiderweb, which is like Mean Luck, but it's the only Pokemon that actually learns Spiderweb this generation. You get Psychic Bear level up, which is random. Oh yeah, I need to put sleep first. <laughs> Got to do that. You get to Jolie, which is kind of important for it. In terms of um, TMs, there isn't much other than Sludge Bomb because of its stats. Same with um, Mewtwo's, but one move to definitely consider is Signal Beam. Which is a egg move. Yeah, you may not have access to it because yeah, the thing about these egg moves is some of them might be on Hoenn Pokemon and we don't have access to those yet. So anyway, so Aridos has a lot of attack. Its special attack is 60, so I guess it can make some good use of that psychic. But yeah, <laughs> probably not super recommended. But yeah, 70 HP, 90 attack, 70 sp defense. 60 special attack, uh, 60 special defense, and 40 speed. So yeah, it's incredibly slow. It hits hard, which technically it can do because it has Sludge Bomb and potentially Signal Beam. It also gets Baton Pass as an egg move, which is important because it has Spider Web. And you can pass those onto your opponent and the enemy still will be trapped, which is very nice. And Cross Miss strikes again. <laughs> Ah, uh, it hit that time, so that's good. It can also pass on agilities too, and... Although it doesn't get Swords Dance like Ledipa. So yeah, it's interesting Pokemon, but yeah... That slow speed is very hard to deal with, because yeah... Although it does have a much better type than, um... Ledipa. So yeah, not... Not like the worst thing in the world, but yeah, you can definitely do a lot better than um Aria Dose. And yeah, in later generations, there are better bug poison types, like for example, um oh, I actually did get knocked out by an Onyx. <laughs> because of a critical, anyway. Like, yeah, in later generations you can do better than Aridos because, yeah, maybe that low speed really kills it. Especially with, you know, in later generations bug types have to deal with Stealth Rock too, so yeah. I, mean, I didn't talk about abilities, but yeah, Insomnia or Swarm both had their uses. Insomnia in this game I'd go for because, yeah, getting a bug type move on it that's good is gonna be hard. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Signal Beam is on Bullbeat, and Bullbeat's a home Pokemon, so yeah. I doubt you're getting that normally. Ladybug might be what gives it Tom Pass, so I guess that's interesting for the Spiderweb Snaggins. But yeah, I don't hate Aridos, but yeah, it's not a Pokemon I would think about using a lot because, yeah, it does have that big flaw in being super slow. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, there are definitely better bug poison types like I keep mentioning in later generations. Like even Venomoth in the next generation is what I consider a lot better. But anyway, now let's end things on a more positive note. But yeah, that's, that's the reason I talked about Aredo second, uh, even though yeah, I haven't encountered one. And that's because the last Pokemon I want to talk about is Heracross. Now Heracross changed bug types from being a joke into actually threatening. 
I guess Pencil and Cypher were kind of doing that too. But, yeah, basically in Gen 1 there were like no good bug types other than those two I mentioned. And then Heracross decided to join and show how good the type could really be. There's a very good reason why I mentioned Heracross specifically for that, but anyway. Oh yuck, I think a bug stung me. <laughs> I guess this is a girl who doesn't like bugs. But anyway, Heracross, it's a bug fighting type. Which is a very cool type. It does have the times for weakness to flying, but it does resist a good amount. Bug, ground, fighting, grass, and dark, so not too bad. Winter, of course, flying like I said, times 4, but also psychic and fire. Yeah, it's neutral to rock because of the fine type, which is very good. So anyway, in terms of abilities, you have two good options. Swarm is actually good on this thing because it gets a good book type move. And Guts is good too. That can power up all its moves. And, and also make Basada a good option if you have it. So anyway, level up moves, great. Um, two moves in particular. Brit Break at level 23. Which, in this game that's not a big deal, but in other games where Rip Break is a um, TM, a one-use TM, that's great. Um, and then, it gets Mega Horn. And it's one of the few Pokemon that get it in this game, especially with Stab 2. So, yeah, I already talked about Mega Horn, it, but let's repeat, it's a 120 power bug type move with 85 accuracy. It's basically like Fire Blast, you know, if it just doesn't feel right if I don't use Buck Pokemon. <laughs> Alright then. And that's incredible. It can make Heracross a surprisingly good Pokemon for dealing with Psychic types. Because yeah, there aren't that many moves that hit them hard. Other than a nice Mega Horn from uh, Heracross. And besides, like most of the other Mega Horn Pokemon aren't going against Psychic types either, so... There's that. Other moves, there's Reversal, which could be fun with Swarm. It gets Endure to work well with that, too. Counter could be interesting. But yeah, it's mainly Mega Horn at level 53, so yeah. TMs, good ones too. It gets Earthquake. You can give it Rock Side with the Mood Tutor. It gets Sword Stance, even, which is extremely overkill. <laughs> Gamey is Bulk Up, and that's actually a good move because, um, Because, yeah, it's actually got good bulk, which I'll go over in a bit. Uh, Ekmo is nothing super great, except for maybe Full Swipe, if you really want that. Flail, it doesn't really need that because of reversal. So, stat-wise, Heracross is amazing. Not only is it, you know, got that good type, that good boot pull, good coverage, he even has good stats too. 88 Street, 125 attack, 75 defense, 40 special attack, 95 special defense, and 85 speed. So it's fast, it has good bulk, and it hits hard. Amazing Pokemon. Probably the best bug type in this game, if you really want to use a bug type. And yeah, it's a reason, there's a reason why my brother considers it one of his favorites. And yeah, I like Heracross too. Take a deep breath, isn't the air delicious? So yeah, I can't say anything much better about Heracross. It gets a Mega Evolution that really changes how it's used. Because in that generation 2, it also gets um, moves that complement Skill Link. Because yeah, it's Mega Evolution is Skill Link, and with its massive attack, it's actually really scary. So yeah, because yeah, I know that people are going to be mentioning Mega Evolution to me, so yeah. <laughs> So yeah, the Pan Bush, yeah, the main draw is the 20% in card for Heracross. And I think to end this episode, we're going to look at um, what that ultimate horn person thinks of the Heracrosses we catch. So yeah, we didn't make as much progress, but yeah. There's actually quite a lot of trainers in this place, and also yeah. I really wanted to talk about how good Heracross is, and I guess also how bad Ledian is. <laughs> So yeah, I would like to use Heracross and Hot Gold again. It is kind of a rare poke on that game, but yeah, it's very good.
Be like, I can teach you how to breathe properly. <laughs> I might need that advice. But anyway, what we got here? Another Caterpie. Let's just run away from that. Got another trainer and another trainer. I'm looking to preserve the natural ecology of Pokemon here. So you're a breeder. You're a Clefairy. But yeah, that's the big thing about Heracross as well. That I was mentioning. The fact that it has a good bug stat because yeah, Cypher and Pinsir don't really in this game. You do get Exorcer in Gen 4, which yeah, that's a good move too. For those two. And also uh Sizzle. Cypher and Sizzle get um Bug Bite, which is good with Technician, so yeah. And yeah, that's another Pokemon that made bug types into less of a joke, Sizzle. Which yeah, Bug Steel type. Only one weakness, uh, hits really hard too, has very good moves, especially in Gen 4. This game it's usable, but yeah, it's, uh, or this gen I should say. It does get Silver Wind and Stealing for Stab, which isn't terrible, but yeah. Not much. <laughs> Here's a good Fable. Uh, we haven't seen one yet, so I guess this is cool that we find one. And it's going for match Oh boy. <laughs> Nature Power. Alright, cool. That's actually the first time I've seen that move. It's different from Secret Power because what it does is it uses the move based on the terrain. So yeah, uh, flying on solid ground or normal ground, so it turns into so very basic. Instead, Secret Power, it's the same move. It's just that the secondary effect changes based on um. I'm gonna put up a repel just to make sure that I've battled all these trainers. Because yeah, with two Heracrosses we should be fine. And yeah, it looks like it bowed everyone. Good, good. So yeah, let's fight the last trainer who is this person. Because yeah, I already fought you. Yeah, that's actually good advice. <laughs> That was some funny dialogue. Hey, last train. This is a good spot, I'll pitch my turn here. So, what well, you got? Two Pokemon? You got a Pinsir. So yeah, another good bug type. So good for Surf. Sword Stance, there we go. First time I've seen that. Boot raises attack sharply, so... Very good move. <laughs> a bit broken maybe, but in a playthrough at least. In competitive it's perfectly balanced. At least there's some Pokemon. <laughs> a level 53. For Estelle. And a Heracross, obviously. Oh yeah, it's not high enough level to have Megahorn, which is good for us. Ingot with a... Uh, I don't have a good fly type move to her across, which yeah, could be a problem. Mark. Yeah, Psychic did well though. And yeah, Heracross also has air laser coverage if you really want to use that, so yeah. No doubt. So yeah, that's the end of the Pattern Bush. We're back on Green Path now, there's more to this place, but yeah. Saving that for the next episode. So yeah, let's go back to Six Sun and I'll meet you guys. Back where the um, Heracross person was, and we're going to show them two Heracross equal. Anyway, back here. One thing I noticed too is that um, one of the Heracross is female, and yeah, it has that cool um, gender difference in Gen 4, where the female ones have like a heart shaped horn, or at the end of the horn. Eek, that's a Heracross, please, please, may I measure how big it is? Alright, let's do the female first. It's 54.1 inches. I've never seen anything like this. He does a reward. You got a nest ball. Very nice. I want to see a much, much bigger Heracross than that one. Oh, how I adore the big Heracross. Let's show them the level 31 now. 
69 put- Oh. 69 put 2 inches. I didn't see anything like this. He does a reward. Yeah, another Nespel. Let's see how much once I get her across in that one. Wow, well, I don't pick her across. So yeah, just keep catching them. They're 20% encounters, so that's not too rare. Yeah, the male one had the 69.2, which I guess is fitting. <laughs> Bam, I'm going to put the hair crosses away now, and then we're going to end. I'll end the episode here, but next time I'll be on the other side of Green Path, and that's where we'll pick up from. So anyway. So next time on uh, Pokemon Leaf Green, we're gonna explore more of Six Island and more of the Green Path specifically. So yeah, I see you guys again for that.